Natural gas spiking once again as questions continue around supply to Europe and what might happen next with Russia and Ukraine. Joining us right now to talk about all of this is Halima Croft. She's RBC Capital Markets Global Head of Commodity Strategy, also a CNBC contributor. And Halima, we, we haven't focused as much as what's happening on Ukraine this morning. It was certainly an issue last week for the markets, and you do see oil and gas prices climbing this morning once again. Um, where do things stand right now, and what are the next steps we should be watching? I mean, we still do not know whether Vladimir Putin is intent on invading Ukraine, but certainly, you know, all indications are they are continuing to move troops to the border. Worryingly, they are actually moving medical equipment, including blood, to the border as well, which is, again, spiking concerns that there may be an imminent invasion sometime in the coming weeks. There will be discussions at the U.N. Security Council on this issue today. The United States is clearly hoping that the diplomatic track can be reopened, but everyone is preparing for a worst-case scenario which would obviously put a lot of pressure on natural gas prices. Right. Natural gas is the huge issue, with Russia being a, the biggest supplier to Europe for all of its natural gas. It's the winter time right now. Things are cold right now. And so Vladimir yes. Putin will have his most leverage right now if he were to go ahead and move with that. In, in the meantime, the United States is trying to look for alternative supplies for Europe. I guess this week the emir of Qatar is coming to the White House to talk about this. What, what might Qatar be able to do? I mean, Qatar is a huge LNG supplier, but the problem is Qatar's volumes are largely contracted already to Asia. And so this is a two-prong effort where you appeal to producers like Qatar to try to free up LNG cargoes, but you also reach out to key Asian consumers, South Korea, Japan, and essentially say, you're having a milder winter. Can you free up your cargoes and send them to Europe? Also appeals being made to Norway, Algeria, Azerbaijan, all these other gas suppliers to see whether they can bring more volumes into Europe in the event that Russia withholds supply. But that said, if Russia is intent on really turning off the taps into Europe, we're talking about mitigation measures. We're not talking about additional supply that could really fully make up for a lot Russian outage if they are really intent on closing the taps. 